Russia will be missing at the G7 summit, while in the EU there's talk of a possible Brexit and Grexit. Do you feel the international situation is getting out of control? And what can you do to address that? There are many international problems, but I think Europe can meet the challenge. Prime Minister David Cameron was in Germany a few days ago. We spoke about changes in the European legal framework which he considers necessary. And I said, where there's a will, there's a way. We on our side, and I personally, would very much like Great Britain to remain in the EU. With Greece, we're having tough negotiations. We want Greece to stay in the euro, but in order to achieve that, Greece has to make the necessary efforts. And these are the subject of our ongoing discussions, and I want to see them come to a positive result. Still, the international order is in a difficult situation, and precisely because of that, Europe must stick together. When I think of the Syrian civil war, when I think of the conflict in Ukraine, or even as we speak, the news is once again worrying, I would say it's a pity that Russia is not with us. But Russia chose to go down the path of annexing Crimea. We are a group of people with the same values, the same ideas, and that's why Russia is not at the table at this point in time. But overall, we do need more international stability. You say EU countries should stick together, so I'm wondering what causes you more sleepless nights, a possible Grexit or a Brexit? I mean, do you think it's likely that the EU, Germany included, will offer Britain a deal that's strong enough that British people will give a definite yes vote to staying in the EU? We have to find a solution that's good for us, that we can live with, and that's good for the people of Britain. If there is a common will to find a solution, we will find it. Some of the things David Cameron is asking for, I can support. On other issues, our views differ. We have always managed to pursue a Europe of different speeds to agree on opt-outs. So I don't lose sleep over it, but this is about hard work to create the necessary preconditions for Great Britain to stay in the EU. Does it ever annoy you somewhat that Britain always asks for special treatment? It wants to change EU treaties, that's asking a lot. They want the British Parliament to have veto powers over EU legislation. Will that happen? And if so, would you and other EU countries ask for something in return? Um, Ich sag mal, wir kennen uns ja und Großbritannien ähm, hat We know each other well and Great Britain often has its own ideas. But as German Chancellor, I can say that at times I have my own ideas and we also hope that others will find a way for us to get what we want. The EU is a union of 28 member states that have to find compromises. Only when everyone is agreed and happy can we get proper results. That will is there. We've already found solutions to many, many difficult questions. It should be like that in this case too. Does that mean treaties will be changed? If that is really necessary, then we have to think about it. I'm very optimistic that if we all want it, we'll find a good solution. And the veto for the British Parliament? We will find a solution.